Switchbot has been pretty much the go-to solution for wireless smart curtains since they launched a few years ago. They are simple to set up, work really well and have a great battery life. But now comes the turn of a new challenger from Akara with their brand new E1 curtain driver. Let's take a look at how they work and how they compare to the Switchbots. Full transparency as always, Akara did send me these new curtain units for me to check out. So the Akara Curtain E1 is a completely wireless solution to automated curtain control by using Zigbee 3.0. This is a retrofit device, meaning that rather than having to replace your entire curtain rod or track, this is designed to work with your existing setup. The whole thing is this matte white finish and feels like an absolute tank to be honest, probably mostly due to its rechargeable 6400 milliamp hour battery, which Akara says gives it a one year battery life. This will of course vary depending on your daily usage, how much you open and close it, but that's impressive nonetheless if it gets even close to that number. Oh, these will also be available in a rod version or a track and rail version, depending on your style of curtains. The rod version coming in at £99.99 and the track version is coming in at £89.99. That's quite a steep price, but we will, we will talk about that a little bit later. On the front of the unit is a physical button, an ambient light sensor and an indicator light for setting limits as well as pairing. Underneath is a USB Type-C port for charging, which you love to see, and on the top is this big wheel that is used to drive it along the rail, along with these hooks. How on earth are these hooks going to attach to the curtain rod? Well, these hooks attach to the sleeve, which you put around your curtain pole and then clip it shut. And this allows the curtain driver to move back and forth with ease. And then the hooks rise up mechanically, hook onto the sleeve, and then it pulls the whole unit onto the rod. When I first saw this happening, I was like, did those hooks just move by themselves? <laughs> While this is just a pretty cool thing all by itself, it does actually serve a useful purpose. It takes all of the guesswork out of how hard to clamp down, since the curtain driver handles the clamp down force for you, so you don't push down too hard or too little. Also, it is just pretty cool to look at. Switchbot also does have this feature with their new version of their curtain driver too, which also has an auto adjusting mechanism. So that's also pretty cool. So once you've installed the sleeve on your curtain rod, you can double press the button on the driver to raise and lower the hooks, and then you can add it to your smart home platform of choice. Let's take a look at the Akara ecosystem first. And then because this is a Zigbee product, let's take a look at connecting it to Home Assistant directly. Connecting these to whichever platform you want is really easy and is a standard Zigbee pairing process. In the Akara app, you select the E1 curtain from the product list and then press and hold the main button on the unit until it flashes, at which point it will connect right up. It will take you through the process of setting the curtains up, including selecting which way round the open and close is, as well as setting the physical limits for the open and close. After that, you have access to open and close the curtains, a slider for control, and you can also create scenes, which basically allow you to open or close the curtain over a set period of time. So for example, if you wanted to create a scene as part of a wake up routine, which slowly opens the curtains over a 10 minute time period. You can also group two curtain units together so that they are controlled as one unit and they open and close at the exact same time. But you can still control each one individually too, if you want. You can also use the curtains in your automations as normal. Interestingly, there is no light sensor listed on the device page, but when you go into automations, you can actually create an automation based on the ambient light of the curtain, which is nice. There is an ambient light sensor listed on the box and you can see it above the physical button, but it just seems that you can't get the actual lux value of it, at least inside of the Akara app. If you connect the Curtain Driver E1 through one of your Akara hubs, this will allow you to link it with other smart home platforms like ALEXA, Google Home, HomeKit and Home Assistant through the HomeKit integration, all of which will allow you to control the position of the curtains as you would expect. Of course, if you already have Zigbee on your Home Assistant server, then you can directly connect the curtains to that instead so that you can bypass the Akara hub altogether. I tested the Curtain Driver E1 with both Zigbee to MQTT, 
and ZHA and had an admittedly surprising result. It wouldn't work in ZigBee 2 MQTT at all, but it did pretty much fully work in ZHA other than the battery life which didn't show up, but you can fully control the curtains in ZHA as it is today. I've already figured out a custom quirk to fix the battery life and also reversing the direction and put in a pull request into ZHA so you should have full functionality in ZHA really soon and I imagine Zigbee 2 MQTT will be updated very quickly to support this device as it usually is. Also don't worry that you don't have the ability to set the limits if you don't have the Akara app. The physical button on the front can be used to set the physical limits for the open and close and you don't need to do any of that in the Akara app if you don't want to. The button on the front can do the physical limits as well as raise and lower the hooks as well as the pairing process. Once it's added to Home Assistant, they will show up as covers and you can customize them however you want. You can also create a group inside of Home Assistant so that they both show up as one single unit and that opens and closes them at the exact same time and works perfectly as you would expect. Up until this point, SwitchBot has enjoyed a pretty much monopoly of this particular segment of the market with their SwitchBot curtain. Sure, there has been some cheaper models from the likes of Tuya, but they aren't really of the same quality as the SwitchBot curtain. So how does it compare against the Akara E1 curtain? Performance wise, the Akara does outmuscle the SwitchBot a little bit, at least when you intentionally load them with extra weight. I was able to add an additional five kilos to the Akara and it was still able to move it, albeit quite slowly, where the SwitchBot was only able to take an additional 2.5 kilos of weight loaded onto it. Not a perfect test, but hopefully it does give you an idea if you have some really heavy curtains. In a real world application, however, they do perform pretty similarly, at least for my curtains. These curtains have started sticking near the end of the travel, much worse than they were a year ago just through wear. Both the Akara and the SwitchBot work perfectly well at the start, but then start to struggle near the end of the close operation just due to the way that the pleats of the curtains line up when they are stretched out. To combat this, Akara has included some clear plastic tape as well as some hooks that you can attach to the top of your curtains to keep all of the pleats at the same length as each other and this makes the curtains move perfectly well. SwitchBot also ships a similar solution in the box and again works great. The only problem I have with these is that they went to all of the hassle of making the tape, I know that's not the right word for it, but they went to all of the hassle of making the tape clear and see through so that you won't see them and then they included white clips which stand out on dark curtains. It would have been great if the clips were also see-through and clear to make them a bit more stealthy, but that is a minor complaint. Both curtains also support the feature where you can pull the curtain a little bit and the drivers will kick in to complete the rest of the action for you. In terms of speed, both are pretty comparable. The Akara is a little faster than the SwitchBot, but not hugely. Although this will obviously depend on how long your curtain rod is, the longer the rod, the larger the gap between them will be. From a noise perspective, I would again say that in terms of volume level, they are pretty identical at least to my ear. However, the SwitchBot does give off more of a higher pitch screech that makes it sound louder and draws more attention to it, whereas the Akara is a lower pitch rumble that allows it to fly under the radar, at least again to my ears. One major difference is obviously connectivity. The Akara connects via Zigbee 3.0, and the SwitchBot connects via Bluetooth. This is a big advantage for the Akara in terms of responsiveness and speed. Although to be fair, curtains are one of those devices you don't need like lightning fast responsiveness to like you do with a light switch. But still, I find Zigbee to be more reliable and overall more predictable. So I gotta say that I do prefer the Akara's being Zigbee over Bluetooth. One advantage that the SwitchBot does have though is its quiet mode where you can run the motor at a slower and less powerful but quieter speed, which is useful for if you have them in a bedroom. The Akara doesn't appear to have this and just runs at one speed only, so that may be something to consider when buying depending on where you plan on placing them. Finally, what about price? So the Akara E1 driver comes in at £99 for one unit, and the SwitchBot Curtain Rod 2 is currently £85, so around a £15 difference. 
I think the £15 difference to get Zigbee over Bluetooth is worth it for me personally, but honestly, other than that, both of them are actually really comparable with each other in pretty much every other way. They both have incredibly easy setups, self-adjusting mechanisms, can do different rod types, have light sensors, USB-C, and everything else is very similar. So it comes down to Zigbee versus Bluetooth, the quiet mode on the SwitchRot, the better strength on the Akara, and the price difference. Both of them are quite up there in terms of price, especially if you do have quite a lot of curtains that you want to add these to, but hopefully we will see a price decrease on both of them once they have been out for a while and now that there is some competition for each other. Either way, it's great to have some real competition in the space. That is always great for us as consumers and it drives better products and ultimately a better price. By the way, if you do want to pick up either of these products, I'll have them linked in the description down below. And because the Akara is just launching, I'll also have a discount code for you down below, which will get you some money off your order. Also, if you're watching this on the day of release, I suspect that these are gonna sell out very quickly, but I do also want to remind you that it's prime day tomorrow where there are generally some deals, if you know what I mean. So just bear that in mind before pulling the trigger. Anyways, that's about going to do it from me for this video. I hope you find it useful. Let me know what you think of these new curtain drivers from Akara. Anything you think they are missing, let me know down in the comments below. If you're looking for something else to watch, then check out my review of the Akara E1 Roller Shade Driver, a really similar product, but for your roller blinds. Please make sure to drop this video a like and get subscribed, and I will see you in the next video.